we have to determine which of these four graphs represent a proportional relationship. Well, that would be this graph right here because it meets two conditions necessary for it to be a proportional relationship. The first being is that it represents a linear relationship, which simply means there is a straight line. But all four of these graphs have a straight line. But what distinguishes this graph from the others is that it begins at the origin. Now, let's explore what happens with the points that lie directly on the line of a proportional relationship. So what we're going to do is take the coordinates of these points and put them into a ratio table. And then we're going to compare the values in terms of y to x. Now, this first point here is located at 2, 1. The second point is located at 4, 2. The next point is at 6, 3. And that is good enough for our purposes. So if we compare each y to each x, we would notice that we have equivalent ratios. And ratios that are equal to each other are considered proportional to each other. Therefore, we have a proportional relationship. Now, let's contrast that with points that lie on a line that do not represent a proportional relationship. So we're going to take these three points right here and put them into an xy table. And then we're going to compare those as y over x ratios. Now, the first point is located at 2, 2. The second point I selected is at 4, 3. And the next point is at 6, 4. All right, so if we compare 2 to 2, 3 to 4, and 4 to 6, we can clearly see that these are not equivalent ratios. 2 over 2 is equal to 1. 3 over 4 is equal to 0. 0.75. And 4 over 6, which is 2 thirds, is equal to point repeating 6. So these values are definitely not equal to each other. Therefore, they are not proportional. 2 over 2 is not equal to 3 over 4. 3 over 4 is not equal to 4 over 6. Now, whenever you do have ratios that are equivalent to each other, the values formed by the y to the x value is called the constant of proportionality. And all of these ratios have the same value, which is 1 half or 0 0.5. So when determining whether or not a graph represents a proportional relationship, just remember one, it has to be a straight line and it also has to go through the origin.